See that smile, that's awesome. Well, we've got cooler temperatures coming. That'll put a smile on many folks' faces here, but it's going to take some time yet. And this evening, if you've got some plans to be outside, it's a Ranby factor of six, just okay. Still kind of hot and breezy. Nice look at Papillion. Camera here at the Shadow Lake Town Center at the Cobalt Credit Union. 90, dew point 65, strong southeast wind, 26 miles an hour. Few spots in the upper 80s south of the metro now. Plattsmouth, Shenandoah, Maryville, 87, 88 degrees, 92 in Lincoln. There's that wind out of the south southeast at 20 to 25 miles an hour. 26 at Omaha, gusting 36. Gusting to 38 in Lincoln, 31 in Beatrice. That is very, very strong. If you're driving down the interstate, you can probably feel that. Bring some moisture in, but it's going to take a front to cause that moisture to give us a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Midnight tonight. Morning drive tomorrow, some clouds, showers diminishing here in northeast Nebraska, some clouds mixed with sun at noontime, 3.30. A front right here starting to trigger a few showers and thunderstorms, 5 o'clock, 6.30, 8 o'clock. You see, that's not like a huge eruption of severe thunderstorms, but given the heat, given the front, we'll probably get a few severe weather warnings uh, for some possibly gusty winds or maybe even a bit of hail. Uh, you see 10 o'clock, more widespread rain and thunder. That's exactly what we need. And uh, out of the area as we head after midnight tomorrow night. Well, right now the radar is quiet. The skies are mostly sunny and clear here. The disturbance we're watching is up here in uh, the western Dakotas. There's a severe thunderstorm watch there for parts of North Dakota and western Minnesota. That's the front that will track eastward, but very slowly. So the thunderstorms along the front track northeast tonight won't get into our viewing area. Tomorrow morning, front gets a little closer. Tomorrow afternoon, right at peak heating is when we're looking for showers and thunderstorms to pop up and then drift east southeastward with time. Tomorrow night, still some showers to the south. And then a little wave of low pressure on the front causes another rain chance into the area, at least for part of Friday. And uh, that front will start to move back north again on Saturday with the continued chance of some rain and thunderstorms. That's fantastic. We need the moisture. 73 the low tonight, very warm, 74 at 7 a.m., 88 at noontime, 91, 4 o'clock, and a 50% chance of storms then, 70% by 6 o'clock, and an 80% chance of storms tomorrow night. So one more hot day, and then temperatures down quite a bit on Friday and Saturday, 81 and 79 for highs, being the 70s most of the day. Most likely rain is going to be around here on Saturday. Sun